<laughs> that is good, good banter. Back for another week, Timmy. Over to you, mate. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 67. Yee. Your name is Evan, Woo. and holy ball bags, Woo. we have a truckload to talk about uh, in beep, beep, uh, beep. today's Bring it up. this Reverse week's it up. episode. It Huge, is, uh, Tommy. Well, where do we start? Well, we're on the um, first things first. Oh. We are on the oh, oh boy, this is the old rickety. We're rickety. on the uh, we're on the stools because we had a bit yeah. of feedback last week that our well, we just felt a bit too relaxed on the couch. We had a bit of feedback that looked like a casting couch. Yeah, and definitely looks like I don't know how long that couch has been there, but there is not. A piece of leather. Oh, I don't think it's even no, leather. It's leather. That's leather synthetic. Or, um, synthetic shit. If that, uh, if that fake that. leather could talk, oh boy, she'd have some stories because that couch that we were on last week is a real piece of shit. It's disgusting. Absolutely rank. Yeah, we, and it, uh, we got told it looked like a casting couch, so which you don't want. That's not the look you want. Nah, no one wants that. No one wants that. So, so we're on the stool, so hopefully we're a little bit more up and about yeah. and we don't rank out our... The eight people watching the video. Yeah, so check it out on uh, the YouTube. 117 subscribers, Timmy. Wow, we that's it's massive. Uh, we are we are going places. We, we are pumping. We, we are, are pumping. pumping. So, so uh, plenty to talk about this week. Huge. Uh, where do we start, mate? Start with you. You've got a million stories. So. Well, Thursday night. They don't do many Thursday night gigs as thy suburban footballer, but this week. I was asked, or last Thursday, I was asked to go down to the St. Bede's Mentone. Yeah, private school, private school. Good crew, good crew down there. A bit of cash, a bit of cash going through the joint. The club that was made famous by Luke Beveridge, coaching three straight flags. The only... uh, the only team ever in Amos to go win three straight flags and go up a division each year, and don't they fucking like telling you about it? Oh, how long ago was that? Now they're still um, going to town on it. Early two thousands, I think. Oh, really? They're still going on about it. Oh, That's, they're going to get over. Did it. Bevo go straight? Maybe went straight from. You wouldn't go straight from Amos to. You'd AFL have to do a coach. bit of an apprenticeship, mate. Yeah, yeah. Bit of an apprenticeship, but yep. um, you know, it might have been late two thousands, maybe into the. Late oh, I don't fit. know. I've got no yeah, idea. Yeah, I'm not sure. I've got not nothing. Sure. But I should know because the, they've got the big flags. They are big. I reckon they got the flag for winning the premierships and said, fuck that, and went and got their own mate They're up that was small. seven times the size. Because they the are flags big. Are us. And they got new rooms. And I've got to tell you, they must be some of the best rooms I've, I've ever been in. Well, would you reckon there's a few under the table, um, you know, you're a... Um, you represent our local council. Here's an old mate with a big fat check, bit of under the table, you know, jerking yeah, each other off. Not maybe sure what it's goes legit. on there, but there was one guy there that I was uh, chatting to. He had 53 possessions in the ones the week before, and I made a bit of a joke that, you know, congratulations on uh, on 53 posies, and I hope you enjoy your last year in the Amos and uh, heading off to play for another club next year, which uh, got a bit of a nervous laugh because I think Ooh. it was pretty close to home. Okay. But, how, um, how, how old was he? Was he, he no, of... we, I don't know. He was a nice, nice kid, sort of a uh, – but yeah, Clearly, he... clearly didn't mind talking himself up. Though. No, no, he didn't. A couple of guys pointed it out to him. Okay, yeah, all right. So all right, uh, yeah. the 53 posies is 53 posies in a losing side as well. Mate, which there's is times even... where I didn't have that in a season. Oh, true that, true that. So, uh, <laughs> so good. So, 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 so good on him, but um, yeah. So the Amos reckon they don't pay, but that's fucking bullshit. Oh mate, there's uh, um, yeah, the the the. Well, they don't guys. pay cash, but you know, a lot of blokes driving around in Beamers, a lot of blokes who are, you know, maybe uh, construction managers on job sites. Yep. Lawyers, how'd you get that job? Oh, I just worked hard. Yeah, yeah you got worked 37 hard. Thirty-seven in your year twelve, jerking so. off the president. So, uh, yeah, so a bit of dodgy shit going on the Amos. Oh, but shit, anyway, yeah. it's only a rort, as I've been told many times before. It's only a rort if you're not in it. And the Amos are well and truly in it. So good on them. They love a rort. So Thursday night, rort iron. not normally, uh, I don't normally love doing a Thursday night. I must admit, gig. I think you can tell comedy's coming back because there's all these sort of weird gigs coming back. Yep. Like, I've, I've got a few weird gigs that have been happening and we might go into later, but, you know, a Thursday night, I've come from a gig 
on a Tuesday, Tuesday night. night. So there's obviously stuff happening. People are shelling out the cash. Comedians are back in vogue. And there's a so backlog. There's a backlog it. of work. It's like yeah. a lot of a lot of people are having their first function in a long time and they're thinking, well, we normally spend five grand for the, you know, in a financial year party. Let's and we haven't had one for two years. Let's yeah. spend fucking twenty grand this year. I think there's a bit of that going. Oh, I'm, I'm not a, getting any of those. Gigs, no, I'm not so getting. Give you the no, tip. I'm not saying twenty grand on the comedian. Oh, I'm saying the call. venue fair and call. the food and the Good booze and, and so forth. And but anyway, handouts. So I thought, ah, uh, this is these are always a bit weird. Um, Thursday night. So, but the the girls' team was there, and they were they were young. So they were sort of a lot of eighteen to twenty one year olds. I'm thinking this is not my it's my not perfect your, demographic. When no. I'm up there, just basically telling dick jokes for thirty minutes. Well, maybe they liked that. Ah, uh, you'd be surprised. Yeah, how those they private did. school girls every no, now and then. Okay, they, did not they like didn't it. like it. Um, All anyway, right. so so I've gone up there, done my first ten minutes as a suburban footballer. I'd give it a. Uh, a six out of ten. Okay, it was a pass, but but it wasn't electric as it normally is on a Saturday night when everyone's boozed up. So I just thought I could go through the motions, do yep. the next twenty minutes, get my half an hour, collect me cash. But I said no, that's not you. That's Tom. not me. Fuck it. I want this to be a ten out of ten. So I just went the crowd. Yep. I just but started. Eighteen year old girls. No, I left them. Okay. I gave we'll them stay. a very well, wide berth. Asleep. Um, they were all uh, on their Instagram anyway. They weren't even. Sh- that aware I was on stage. They were TikToking. They were TikToking. Um, so I was just picking on boys. There were blokes with fucking scarves. I don't shit on him. I look scarves. over. Scarves. When bloke. you say scarves, like football no, scarf, not footy or scarf, just a sort fashion of fashion scarf. Makes you Doctor Who sort of scarf. Oh, Jesus, that is ammo yeah, shit. Yeah. So, uh, so I'd go then. But anyway, how kid- many, how many, how many blokes do you reckon are going to who play out at Reservoir? Are wearing scarves. Well, on a maybe, Thursday night, I'm not sure how many. Maybe would balaclavas. Do it. Maybe balaclavas. I'm not sure how many are wearing them, but very few are wearing them for a second time because oh, you've just I, gone to town. Yeah, or they've had the shit beat out of them. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, reservoir. Yeah, in reservoir. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, the gig ended up going great, and I thought, look, it finished reasonably early. I didn't have an early start the next day. I thought, fuck it. I'm going to sit down and have a beer. Have a chat. With a few of the players. Have a beer. Um, there's a big round table, about 10 of us, and just a ripping bunch of blokes. Can't remember any of their names, but fuck, they had some funny stories. One, one story they said, Mad Monday. One of them lost their yacht. Yeah, yeah, they got pissed, rode the yacht off, and oh, <laughs> did they laugh. What a, what a mad Monday. Yeah, um, that was crazy. No, no, so, uh, so one oh. of them, oh, no, no, they organised. And again, you wouldn't get this at Reservoir. Three grand, for, um, no, paying three grand get to get Reservoir. Daryl Braithway to come to your Mad Monday in the rooms and sing three songs. That's it. Three grand. Oh yeah. Well, I reckon. I reckon he'd be worth more. Mate, I thought. Well, I thought he would have been fifteen grand. Yeah, that's was, what I thought. It was. Three oh, I reckon grand. that's that's the undercover stuff again. That's ah. the that's the. Um, someone knows Daryl Braithwaite. Let's let's not get um, Captain Ma- Spaulding. Oh, maybe or- Daryl Braithwaite's kid plays there, yeah, and maybe, maybe they, they're running the club owns horses. That's it. maybe that's <laughs> yeah. it. So, uh, and they all ride their horses to Mad Monday. They all ride their horses. Um, they're no. polo horses. <laughs> Um, like many no, Apollo. anyway, say it. Fucking, how good's that? That's great. And, what, uh, did he just sing horses yeah, three well, times? They, they said they got three, they, he sung horses three <laughs> times. <laughs> we could have well, said. Uh, oh. Oh, why would you? I mean, one, yeah, you've got one summer, horses. one summer. Ah, well, one that. summer. Stick that up your ass. I'll find a way. Maybe the chorus of that and What else horses, has he got? Oh, mate, I'd go horses three times every day of the week. So and then they were telling about this other year, and there was a. So this was the older crew. I'm guessing they were early 30s. All yeah. the young blokes had yep. left. It was just sort, of, and they were all having a drink. It was a, it was a good crew, and they were telling us about this year. And fuck, this is funny. A great idea. So they won the wooden spoon this year. Oh, well done. And um, they reckon it was the worst team the clubs had in last year. Oh no, this is going back. This is going oh, back. Oh, sorry. About, so they're telling us. Yeah, they're telling back. a story. Do we need a little? Uh, so they've it's going back. So we're going back. I don't know, maybe seven years. But most of the guys, all the guys, were still there. So I'm guessing it wasn't too long. Maybe five years. Yep. I didn't get the year off them, but um, right at the start, don't you love a club that starts planning their Mad Monday before round, round one? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, we're not going to be good this year. Yeah, so so they so what they did for this 
Mad Monday, they organised a wedding. And um, it was a wedding between two players. And yeah. they, they organised the two players right at the start, picked them. So this whole year, these two knew that they were getting married. And they started to get... Cold feet? No, no, they started to get everyone had a role at this wedding. So, yeah. say there was the creepy priest, and he was oh, so he yeah. could prepare well, his uh, perfect at the end. The, the, there's the, always one of them the floating around, and then they had the parents, and they had the auntie who was a prostitute, and oh. everyone had these roles, Coke and even deal. um, and even uh, so the I think it was the third last round. I oh, know it must have been the second last round. They knew they were a week away from the wedding from. The wedding slash Mad Monday. So what they did, they had a Bucks party on um on the second <laughs> line and they said it was an away game. All the other team had fucked off and they had their Bucks party in this away in this away team's club rooms. Just just Oh had, just just had a Bucks party. Great. Yeah. Great. And, um, did they get Daryl Braithwaite down for that? No, I think that was a different year. But uh anyway, just a ripping bunch of folks and great banter, good stories, and it's uh and that's that is what I like about footy. Did just, the wedding last? Oh, I think they might have separated on okay. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. She, he, uh, he might have slept with someone else. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, that's uh, good times down there. So, uh, yeah, that's so good. big thanks to uh, St. Bede's Men Tone for having us down. It was a full house. There was over 100 right. people in the room. That's uh, that's good on a Thursday. On a what's, Thursday. And what's the vibe? Like meals? Was it caviar? Was it, it was. Um, scotch fillet? Well, what were they doing? Well, I, we used to get a... Like, basically, when we used to do it at Caulfield, it was when we used to have them at the club, it was... Basically, just soup, which was slightly thinner tomato sauce. Yeah, it was fucking watered rank. down. It was rank tomato sauce with with some rolls, really shit stale. Rolls. But this was they had a caterer in. They had um, brisket. Oh, it was. I know what they're doing. Christ. You ain't shit on the amos, but I tell you what, it'd be nice. Well, it'd it all nice. comes down to money, Tom. Like I'm sure Caulfield would go. Yeah, we'll get some brisket, but. I mean, yeah. I don't know what you got paid over the years at Caulfield. Nothing. At nothing. nothing. So, everyone thinks we're rich at Caulfield. I remember no, playing people. It sounds. Because they think, sounds. oh, there's a lot of Jews around. That's a rich area. Yeah, Is no. That, poor um, well, they're uh, tight. So. Poverty. Poverty. Street. Poverty. But, um, yeah. So that was good fun. Struggle Street. And then I'll uh, – I'll, have you got any? Because I'll get on to my Saturday night gig – Next, because she was a little beauty. She mate, was a little beauty. All right, all right. Well, maybe it. maybe I could tell you about a weird gig I did, and 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 these are the gigs that are coming through now. Some weird like, gigs. Some weird gigs. Some weird gigs. So a few weeks ago, it's um, I got a I got a call from the great Des Dowling, a delicate Des, delicate Des, yep. who said I've had an inquiry, yep, for a twenty third birthday party. Not many of them going around. No, oh, actually, I know. It was COVID for the twenty first. Uh, so yeah, this maybe has been put back. Maybe it's been put back. Maybe yep. it's been put back. But I, I don't know what you were doing on your twenty third. I'm tipping maybe getting a comedian to come down. wasn't Wasn't no, what your I dad had planned? What'd you do for was, your twenty third? I would have rather put that money towards a, a couple of other kegs, a couple more, more kegs. kegs, more kegs, maybe a stripper. Uh, oh, maybe not if the family and all that are there. Not, not for the family function. No, the auntie, the thought. Auntie wanted Just to get the, the cans out or whatever. Yep. But uh, so, Desi goes, mate. It's uh, the bloke's got in touch with me. Yep. It's in Footscray, and I'm thinking, oh fuck, Footscray. This okay, is well, uh, this could be stereotype. This but- could be a nightmare. But uh, and he said, oh, what do you got on? I said, well, I've got my festival show that starts at nine. Okay. And uh, he said. You're sort of looking at maybe getting um, getting to Footscray because I thought I've got to set sound gear up because sometimes you you go to these gigs and you need sound gear. You need, you sound, need sound gear, gear. especially if some of those function rooms are a bit echoey. You need gear. That's it. You, you definitely need gear. You need you gear. definitely need gear yeah. for some Everyone of those else functions. Got gear. You, you need, need gear. gear. Yep. Get on the gear. So. Uh, I speak to the bloke. He sounds like a great guy. I said, "Oh, what? Is, yeah, it's me son's twenty third. He's a bit yep. of a shy kid." Yep. I thought I'll just do something different. Yep. Um, I think maybe he did. He was thinking. I don't know whether it was a joke. He said maybe he was going to get strippers, but there's going to be family there, and probably not a great look. No, that look. That's not great. And I reckon Dad should be able to work that out. He's old enough to. He's old enough. He's ugly enough. Not he's to get his kid a stripper. Not to get his kid birthday. a stripper. But he said, "Yeah, he's just a, he's just a he's just a shy kid." So yep. I thought we'd do something different. And I said, "Oh, what, what what do you want me to do? Do you, do you, have you got dirt on him? Do you want me to rip into him?" Yep. And you're sort of like you 
poor kid, if he's a shy kid, you don't really want to rip shit on him. Not on his special day. Not on his special day. So, no. and Desi goes, mate, it could be one of those gigs where, you know, you, you do your time, you grab the money, and you get out. See you later. And you wipe your. You wipe your tears with the cash. You wipe your tears the with out. the cash, yep. but obviously I'm stressing because I think if it's running late, I've still got my gear there. Okay. Uh, so I said, what I'll do, I'll take someone else with me. Okay. Take another comic. Just and he can ca- pack your shit up. He can pack my shit up. Cool. I'll do 20 minutes. He'll do 10. Yep. Give me a bit of cash. Yep. Game on. Happy Game days. On. Happy days. Happy days. So I get, let me just work out this time. It happened a while ago. It happened a while ago. Yep. So I've got to be, so I've got to be in South Melbourne for my show at about 8.30. Yeah. I aim for that. And I think it got to, he said, um, we'll try to get you on at 7.30. But we turned up to this place in Footscray. It's probably too early. Ideally, you'd want to be on a bit later when everyone had had a few more drinks. But sometimes when you're going for two you or just, even three gigs, you've just got to get the time slot that works. You've got to even get it done. it's not the best one. You've got to get performing. it done. You've got to get it done. So we turn up. It's in this little back alleyway. It's these, um, but high-rise apartments. Yep. High-rise apartments. We okay. turn up. So it's at, at their house. It's at like an apartment. Okay. But they've got a little on the 10th floor or something. They've got an uh, outdoor area. Do they own it or are they have they hired this? I think. They live in the apartment complex. They have photos on the wall of them. I didn't go into the apartment. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. So I just, I'm, I'm working this out and yep. I turn up and there's a bit, a few panicked people out the front. Okay. There's a few panicked people. I go, yep. get, and it's dark, it's pitch black. I go, am I going to get murdered? Am I going to get stabbed? Is yep. some bloke going to bend me over in the bushes and, you know, make me a man? You don't need that pre-gig. I don't need that. I've got to get through two gigs. I don't want to do it with a sore bum. No so, way. Don't need it. So I park up. I've got the gear in the boot. And I, these guys, I say, oh, g'day, boys. How are you? Um, my name's Evan. Uh, is there a – because it was one of those things where I go, is this the joint? Is this it? Is this it? What is going on here? I said, oh, is this, is this the place? I said, yeah, yeah, my name's – Whatever his name was. It, my, were you a surprise or was um, it to know? I, I, I think he knew. I think he knew. So um, I had a surprise. You, you can't do surprise comedy. No. Not, especially not the 23rd. No. Doesn't work. But anyway, old mate goes, yep, I know you're coming. You're not a surprise. Good. But I'm disappointed. And he goes, oh, we're just struggling. We can't get onto – we can't get – it's locked. The door to this little outdoor area is locked. Someone should have checked that. Someone should have, should have got the that key pre-party. Think. So is this like a public area of apartments? A public area of apartments, but I think they might have booked it out. Booked it out, so only they can use it. Okay. Okay. I've never heard of that before. No, it is weird. It is weird. I turn up, I go, this is a bit weird, and at right. that stage maybe and it the was- the clock's ticking. The clock's ticking. The clock's ticking. I'm thinking, bang, I've got to do my- Bloody comedy festival show. Going to be out of here by 8.30. Yep. Latest. Probably quarter past eight. Okay. So whatever time it is, I'm thinking, oh, fuck, this is bad. Billy, I've got Billy Styles to help me out. Ah, he's, good. he's doing yep. the gig. Good comic. Good comic. So he goes, man, wh- where is this place? I said, mate, come around, down the back, go past the drug dealer on the left, yep. go past the junkie on the right, yep. uh, dodge the prostitute. Yep. And just the park. car on fire. Car, car on shell. fire. Um, you know, the guy so blowing a hobo. Yep. Just mate, go past him. Mate, we were just saying before that blowing our blowing the hobo episode was our worst it's, it's our, not get, our worst rating episode. I, I, I th- it hasn't gone that well. So let's not let's not let's not bring up blowing all a hobo. Alright, let's not do that. Let's not do that. So it's not what our people want. They don't want that. They want they want cleaner stuff. So that's that's what we're doing. <laughs> so Billy <laughs> I go, yeah, it's all gone to shit, Billy. We can't get in. We don't know what's going on. There's panic. There's confusion. And uh, we end up, we sneak in there, and I'm yep. chatting to the old man. The old man, now, he's panicked. He's rushed. I don't know what his name, Steve or John or whatever his so name he's was. He's panicked. So he's panicked. Yeah, this is, so a, this is no good. This is a shit show. And I'm almost at a point where I go, I don't think this is going to happen. Yep. Do I just go, mate, forget about it? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, your dad. Couldn't organise a, uh, a comic at a 23rd. He could not. And uh, he couldn't organise a key at a 23rd birthday to get out onto the patio. So I'm thinking, oh, God, this is shit. Because I'm just thinking time-wise, time-wise, yep. we've got to make this happen. Yeah. 
ends up, they get in there. It's by now, it's sort of seven o'clock. They're bringing up all the drinks. People are filtering in and uh, they're setting up like, it was freezing as well. They set up a little inside area. So there's. So we're in. We're in. Oh, okay. We got in. We got in. Okay. So this is a okay. fairly major part of the story you left out there. Getting in. Getting in. You're in. We're in. We're in. Yep. I'm sort of. It happened a while ago. So I'm yep. just trying to. But now I'm, the, the clock's ticking. Yeah. The clock is ticking. We're in there at seven o'clock. They're setting up all the food. I'm yep. talking to old mate. He's happy. It's all good. He's got the drinks. He's got the people How filtering. Many people? In. Oh, I don't know. There's maybe uh, sort of 30, okay. sort of 20, 30 yep. sort of mingling around. Weird group of people. Yeah. People who you think, how are these people friends? Okay. What's going on? So you know? Probably family. I oh, sort of, a couple of work people. Family, family. Yep. I sort of found out that they used to live in uh, Sydney. Ah, uh, okay. They've all moved down. Yep. I got chatting to one bloke who seemed like a bit of the fuck up of the family. Okay. So where how do you know him? I said, oh, mates with so-and-so, this and that. And I'm yep. thinking, I don't know if he knows anyone. No. I think he's just snuck in and he's- do you reckon they listen to this? Um, oh, I, I don't think so. No. I don't think so. Bit of a but sad a, family. Bit of a- <laughs> I think it might have been. <laughs> I, I think what it was was maybe a sad family. Yeah, maybe a sad family. But but, but you're about to. I'm make about them to happy. perform. I'm you're about, about to, to make They're them not going to be sad for much longer. They're not going to be sad. So everyone starts eating. I said, "All right, mate. We we probably want to start at seven thirty. Yep. at the absolute late." He says, "Oh, mate, we'll, we'll we'll have some food. We'll do this." I said, "Okay." Now I'm I'm thinking. Did you stress beforehand? You had to get on a certain time. I had to you, stress. You have to. I had to get to another gig. Yeah, I you said, have to in that situation. Billy boy, Billy, I got to, at the latest, I reckon I got to be on at 20 to 8. Yep. I'll go to 8, and just in case something fucks up, I got to be out of here. Um, I'll leave you to pack up the gear. Yeah. So everyone's eating, and then set up the sound gear, and just getting a bit of a vibe, bit of getting the, getting the uh, temperature of the room, yep, temperature of the room. Cold. Spoke to uh, some young girls who uh, were comedy fans. Oh, that's good. I said, yeah, I went to Have a few shows. No, I didn't no. know who I was. Okay. I did not know not who true fans. Oh, not true fans. So I'm thinking this could go bad. I uh, spoke to a few family members. I yep. said, oh, did you know comedy was happening? So, no, nah, we had no fucking idea. Yep. Uh, the old man's like, no, nah, this would be great. This is good. There was sort of, uh, you know, maybe some Asian people up the back. There okay, was sort of Lebanese. Okay, there was a bit of a, of, uh, it was a, a real, mixed, real mixed bag. melting pot. Bit of a mixed real bag. melting pot of yeah. uh, Footscray's Elite. And, okay. uh, yeah, so I get to, all right, now this is, no, we've got to get this happening. Yep. Everyone's eating. Gets to about quarter to quarter to eight, so it's getting panic stations. It's getting panic stations now. I got to get on there. I got to get to my show. So, bang! I think old mate, the dad, he he gives the intro. Goes all right, and one of the most horrific intros. All right, um, welcome to so and so's twenty third. Uh, yep. I thought we'll have some entertainment. Here's Evan. Well, I could have told you, and I've never met the bloke. I could have told you he was going to give a shit intro, I knew even it. from the information, the vibe I'm getting. He's, he's He's, he's he, was th- he was thinking about getting his son a stripper for his twenty third. The alarm bells are ringing there. He's he's fucked the key to That's get no a good, good venue, hmm. and he's he doesn't know who he's inviting to this shit show, mate. I reckon you should have given yourself an intro, and you've. That's a mistake. Listen to this. Listen to this. Okay. I said, geez, I've had some good intros in my time. That was not one of them. And that gets a laugh. That gets a laugh. Oh, that's I said, good. Let's do this again. Let's do this again, guys. Ah, good, good. Let's come on. And I'm, I've got the, um, the the tray of all the meat and that in front of me. And yep. people are sort of mingled. They are, you, you couldn't get people seated. It's just people yep. standing around yep. the perimeter of this small room. Yep. And I thought, I've got to do something here. So, own intro, bring it on. Bang, bang, bang. Just. Running through material, this and that. Yep. I sort of get chatting to a few people. It goes somewhere down here. It dies in the ass over there. Yep. There's sort of, uh, I spoke to the weird guy. I was sort of hanging around. I said, I was chatting to you before. I got his name. I was going, I said something about him. I said, who do you know here? And sort of, uh, I sort of said, does anyone know this guy? He goes, okay, this is the fucking predator or something, yep. or something like that. And that probably went down like a lead balloon. Yeah, a bit close the to home, maybe. Rod Iron Hang Glide. Everyone was scared of that guy. And yep. uh, sort of... The, sort of the, the five or six Asian people up the back said, hey, "How you going? Can you understand it? I've got a thick accent." And they just go, do, 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 okay, do, do, so do, you've do. gone a bit racist. Gone, gone a bit racist. But, but it was more just my thick Australian yeah, accent. Yeah, okay, yeah. I thought, you know, this is hard to understand for a regular Aussie. 
Let, alone. Their, let alone someone who's yep. come from somewhere else. Yep. And uh, no, anyway. That's a fair line. So bang, doing it all, doing my jokes, 20 minutes in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your next act, Billy Styles. Bring him on. And I'm thinking, bang, by I this time, Eddie. it is like five, ten past eight maybe. And I've got to get down. So you need a key. Boop, 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 boop. To get yep. through, you got to jump in an elevator. I jump in an elevator with another bloke who's going, I'm fucking out of here. Yep, he's this leaving. This is boring as bad shit. Yep. So i got to get out of here. And we press the button and nothing happens. Oh, like, what boy. What the fuck's going on here? You go, ah, oh, we need a key. You need like a little swab. A fob. A fob. You know those fobs where you go, Boop. oh, mate, I've got one in my pocket. Yeah, I love the fob. Love the fob. So F-O-B. So, fob. We don't have the fob. I go, oh, man, I've got to get to a gig. I've got like, you know, 40 minutes before my show starts. What's yeah. going on? He goes, oh, mate, I've my phone. I, I've got no reception. Do you have a reception? He goes, mate, I've got no reception. So he can't, we can't ring out. I go, what is oh, going no. on here? This is a nightmare. I'm thinking, this is, what are we going to do? We're tr- I push the emergency button. Boop. It goes, oh, yes, hello. What's going on? I said, we're stuck in the lift. Where are you? I got no idea. Somewhere in Footscray at a weird party. So, well, you think he would have the technology to work out where you are. Wow, well, yeah, yeah. But anyway, anyway, for about two or three minutes, we're sort of trying to work out what's going on here. And then all of a sudden, we go up. We go, that's good, I think. Wrong direction. We, we need to go down. Movement. But we've got movement. And there's nothing better than a bit of movement. Especially Remember, up. Loves movement. <laughs> that's it. Love a bit of movement up. So, and people go, they, they, the doors open. I go, yep. G'day, guys. How are you? They go, I've got to get to my gig. Where are you? I said, Well, we're going to go down the floor. You know how some, uh, um, apartments, there's like goods lifts, there's lifts that only yeah, go yep. to certain levels. What, what level are you on? Oh, I don't know. Bloody 13 or 14. Oh, okay, so it's a bit much for stairs. That's so a bit crazy. I don't know. So they said, Oh, so this, we go down, we get to level two. We need to be on like level ground. They said, oh, it doesn't yeah. go to level ground. These people said, oh, well, where are you going? I said, oh, we're just going to our apartment. So we ended up, they took us through their apartment. Okay. We went through their apartment outside and now I'm in the car. I'm out of there. Yep. I get to the show on time. I said, how'd it wind up, Billy Balls? He goes, mate, it was all good. I think they were happy. I've got your gear. I said, great. I'm about to go on stage. Fantastic. Got the cash. We made it. Kish, cash, cash. We did it. And that's a win. We that did could have it. been anything. But just a weird, and, and that's that's a good thing. Weird gigs are coming back. Yeah. You don't yeah. love a weird gig. Yeah, I'm doing, it's, it's, uh, yeah, you're right. Like, I'm doing one, just got asked to do it, got the phone call today and doing it tomorrow in the yeah. change rooms at the MCG. It's weird. Ten minutes, suburban football, and then introducing uh, ooh, uh, Glenn McGrath. What? The change rooms at the MCG. Is that what who uh, Glenn McGrath wants? I don't know I mean, what he who wants. Who organises these kids? And what is this for? And they've like, got to it... say, like, I've got a, these, like, 130 businessmen down from Sydney, and yeah. I've got to, just for 10 minutes, I've got to basically abuse them like I'm the uh, coach. I'm going to dress yeah. up in all my shit. And then my line is, and they've, they've given me the line, and they said I've basically... I pretty much have to do this line. That's the one thing I have to do is I have to go, all right, well, clearly you guys aren't into footy. Is anyone here into cricket? What about you, mate? Are you into cricket? And Glenn McGrath is going to be standing oh, behind him. This, you know what? This has got the hallmarks of the, old um, uh, the, the yeah. Melbourne, the w- Walkinshaw yeah. Christmas party. Too um, too orchestrated. Too too orchestrated. It's, it's too planned. You gotta you gotta bloody let things happen. But anyway, but so re- that, as long as you hit that line though, and, right. and and who uh, Glenn McGrath's there? And once he walks in, he just starts. Well, apparently, Does, I. They said, "Oh, you can do a bit of you can zig and zag and and um and and get some banter going with um with uh Glenn, Glenn, Glenn McGrath. McGrath. Would He's, you maybe just come out with a shotgun and a rhino or something and go, come on, let's shoot this? No, nah, well he's, well, I could, but he's, but they said what he's going to do. His first minute, he's going to walk out, and then he's going to say." Let's have a minute silence for Shane Warne. And that's how. Oh. And I was like, well, I don't want to be involved in that. No, that, that's shit. 
You can't have fun that's, with that. No, you can't. No, you can't. Like, what are you, in the maybe. world? That's a that's a yeah. mood killer. I mean, so, you're gonna you're gonna put uh, your hand under your thing and go. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You can't do that. Warning. Warning. Yeah, so, uh, so I'll be avoiding that, like Hep C. And okay, who's and, coming? This is a stupid idea. It's a stupid idea. So, but anyway, so interesting to see how that goes. Yeah, so that'll be next week. But my gig this week at the just gone Saturday, Bridge North. Football club, half an hour at Launceston. You got the. I've got the uh, beanie on, I've got mate. the beanie on. The, the, the mighty parrots, and yeah. I've got to tell you, they're not a fearsome bird, are they? Not a fearsome bird, and this this uh, their logo was not just a parrot, a particularly uh, gay looking parrot. One of the was it um, was it you know an earring at the in, opera in the right or something, ear, and or was earring it was earring in the right ear. ear. Yeah, <laughs> it was just uh, it, was, it was driving a day woo. <laughs> Dick in its mouth. Um, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> Dick in its beak. <laughs> It was. Um, oh God! Just had a, well, had a real little. Like uh, had a real little. Uh, just a little. Just a little gay look about it. He just looked. He looked. No, don't get me wrong. Lovely. Uh, lovely parrot. Just. Um. Just looked a bit. Bit of feminine. Bit camp. Might have been a camp. Actually, might have been a female parrot. Yeah, might have been a female parrot. I tell you what, though, one of my mates, he plays for Brighton down in Tassie, and oh, they're yep. called the Robins. I mean, Jeez, I reckon the. I've got to say, the Robins are probably less intimidating. Than the parrots. Than the parrots, yeah. I, I reckon the robins are. That is real tweet, shit. Tweet, 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 tweet. Robins. Are Come they, on, robins. Have they got a big yellow. That's yellow yellow breasted robin? Have they got a big yellow front to the. Oh, they I'm should. Not too sure. Yeah. They should. But anyway, so okay. this gig's been planned for a while. Organised by Bobby, the uh, the president down there, ripping bloke. He's a, uh, you know, he's a, he's a real country bloke. He called me Cobber. Oh, on the phone, but not in a bloody that. ironic way or trying to be funny. He's he, ca- he calls people Cobber. Yeah, so, he calls his wife Cobber. So anyway, so I'm, I'm flying out at about one thirty. Uh, I've done. I was kick in the morning. I've gone home. Got a few kicks. Got a few kicks. It's a fucking. I tell you what, Oz Kick is a shit show down there. Oh, I've lost control of the kids. Um, but well, anyway, I've been to your house, Tom, and uh, yeah, the three boys there. They're um, I've lost control, but put me out in, of control. So I can't control three of them. I don't know why anyone thought I could control forty of them. No. But anyway, so as long as no kids are getting seriously hurt. That's, uh, that's that's, that's good. the goal. So anyway, I'm at, I'm at home. I'm hanging out with the kids. I'm thinking I'm going to be away. All weekend, especially for Mother's, Mother's Day, Day well down planned, like a lead Tom. So, well done. So, um, and then Tam just goes, Tom, I think you, uh, I think you better head off. And I've sort of, I don't know what I fucked up my calculation. So, I've, all right, let's work back. I'm flying at one thirty. Got to be there half an hour early. Before that, you do that, this, that, yep. Remember a few episodes ago, you said I'm going to book all my flights. I'm going to book all. This was the infamous one, yeah, where you booked. On the, the day you had to go yeah. from Melbourne, you booked long system to Melbourne. How did you fix that? Well, it was a uh, it was a nightmare. So, so I just had to basically get onto the company, um, swap it all over. But then, and this is fast forwarding to the Sunday when I've got to get out of there. So I got the first flight out of there at nine forty, right? Because I fucked up all the flights. Yep. And I was like, well, I can't believe I'm not waking up in my wife's bed on Mother's Day. Oh, this is a someone else was. I'll get the first Sorry. flight out. No, it would have been the three Sorry. kids. Yep. And then uh, so nine forty. Bad. And then I get out the airport. There were flights out at seven. Ah, uh, so I don't know what I've done. You've um, did you go to Webjet or did I you go know. to what the I've corner done, side? Or they wouldn't have put on extra flights, would they? Yeah, oh, no. no. Anyway, no, so Tom, you've buggered so it up, mate. My wife's gone. You better get out the airport. And I, oh yeah, I'm pretty cash. Put me shit in, and I'm driving out there. And I'm sort of doing the math in my head, and I'm going, "Fuck me, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to fucking make it." So all of a sudden, <laughs> so you're bloody driving a bit faster. Your sphincter's tightening up. Yeah, you, yeah, you're, you're sweating. You're thinking. Yeah, what the fuck? What if I don't make it? I knew that was the last flight out. Where were you parking? Well, oh, well, that's interesting. So, because mm. I remember you telling me the story about the lack of parking. Yeah, I think that was Easter weekend, though. So yeah. I think you're good now. But then I flew uh, only a few days earlier that week. I, I flew to Brisbane for work for a week, and there were there were parks fucking everywhere. Yeah, it was like it was like about half full. Yep. There were, you could actually park right up near the terminal. So at least I'm thinking, oh, look, am, am I, is it going to be Evan's story where there's no parks or is it still like it was? Uh, so I've gone in and if ever I've needed a good park, this is it. Gone in. Okay, so it's so one thirty fly out, one, 1 o'clock is the la- latest you can check in. What time is it? And it's, it's 12, I think it was 
12.40. Oh, this so, is. And I'm just is. driving in. So yeah. so it's getting. There's still some work to be done here, It's Tom. some work to be done. So I've got a, So I've already said I'm not getting on that fucking bus. That thing's a, that thing's a nightmare. So I'm getting pretty good. Lately, I've get, at the airport, I've found those. Um, people seem to be leaving those trolleys around. So you chuck your suitcase on the trolley. Chuck your laptop on the trolley and you just fucking fang Run. it. Run. You're like the Jamaican bobsled team. Fucking, you just go push as fast really? as you can. I reckon that's the quickest way. What, to up, up the there. ramp and shit like that? Oh, oh no, you don't go. Yeah, you, you know, you go down the ramp and up there. Yeah, you can get there pretty quick. Okay. So okay. You, you're catching that bus. I get the bus. Ah, fuck but, the bus. But also, I leave time to get the bus. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, you I know. didn't have time for the bus. Yeah, so, all right. so anyway, so I'm driving around in that front pocket. As you go in on the right, right near the terminal, if I don't get a car parked there, You're in I'm trouble. fucked. Anyway, I've done a lap. I've done full laps. There's no park. Oh, shit. There's no park. Oh, shit. Ha- sphincter watch? How sphincter, is it? Sphincter, tight, sweat happening, starting to look, get a bit shaky, thinking, what have I done, what have I done, what have I done? So I did something I've never done before. Yep. Illegal park. Whoa. Just parked on the sidewalk. Well, where? Still in the... Um, grounds of the car park yeah but just on a concrete sidewalk oh yeah yeah I thought, i've seen people do that oh, you see i reckon quite a bit. i reckon uh yeah you can get away with it if you've got the balls to do it you don't give a fuck at this stage you're like i don't care if they tow my car i don't, I don't care, care if, someone, if someone throws a brick through it someone fire bombs it, it fire bombs it, it tips it yep um, so takes the wheels so i figure i'm only going to be there for 24 hours so mm. and surely Saturday night, Sunday is not a time someone's going around checking you know, and the parking parts. inspectors have got mums as well. Yeah. They've got oh, a yeah. mum, mum, I was, I, I, I'm coming over. I'm not going to book anyone today. I'm, yep. I'm coming over. I'll Love get you, a mum. few shakes of the head, but but I'll be gone. So yeah. I thought, fuck it. It's my only hope. So I've gone the illegal park. There's a trolley right there. Chuck me shit on the trolley. Flying up. Bum, 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 bum. Boom, boom. And I made it. By three minutes. Three. Three minutes. She goes, oh, you just made it. No shit. No shit. And I I'm am, illegally parked. I am piercing out sweat. Oh. Because I'm, I'm figuring I'm off to Launceston, so I'm wearing fucking four layers. I've got my hoodie on. got yep. the tracky dacks. Yeah, got a second head. Anyway, get down the bloody departure gate. Delayed. Oh. Two and a half hours. <laughs> but still. <laughs> two and a half hours. Did- you can go back I and park your car properly. I thought about it. And I thought, you can go fuck back it. And yeah, park it did, your car it did cross my mind, and then I thought, oh, fuck that. So um, delayed two, two and, and, half and a half hours. hours. So what time? Oh, so, so I still you... had time to burn. So I was going to get there really early, but I had I, I had uh, plans to. Um, I was going to get there early, go for a run. Gonna I was going to go to a pub and watch the because uh, Collingwood Richmond were playing. Mm. So I was going to I was going to watch that. Go to a pub. And it was just going to be so. But by the time I got over there, uh, I only just just made it. So I've sort of got to my hotel room. Eventually, got to my hotel. Room. Actually, one more thing before when you arrive in Launceston. Beautiful. One, spot. one rule. Be- beautiful part of the world. But there's one rule that I stick by when traveling. Actually, this was on the way home. But so, so I'll arrive. So I'll fast forward a bit. But one rule, a strict rule I've got when traveling when you arrive. No matter how badly you need a poo, you don't use the first shitter. Oh, because everyone goes Everyone's there. using it. Yep. Everyone's using it. Mm, that's that's a good call. That's a good call. So I reckon Mate, you everyone goes Tom's in, you're better off tips. just... That's Tom's travel travel tips for the day. And you just go a little bit further and all of a sudden you're, you're pooing on your own. It's not many... Um, Launceston's a pretty small airport. Though. Yeah, well, that's not right. a I was on the way back, I needed a poo. Okay. Yeah. So at Melbourne. Melbourne, yeah, so Melbourne yeah, Airport, I need to poo. But um, anyway, right. so yeah, so arrived, Lonnie, uh, and that, so I've, I've messaged the president. I know it's about half an hour. G'day, knackers. G'day. Cobber. G'day, Bobby. And Bob, so we're just messing each other. He said, well, we're gonna get, I'm going to get the bus to pick you up. The, the buses, because we're half an hour out of town. It's shit as ditch. Taxis don't go out there. So we, we get a bus. Yeah. So he said, just go wait out the front of the- You uh, said, fuck it. I've got a trolley. I've got my gear. Yeah, I'm doing I've it. I've got the laptop. I'm running. I'm going. I'll see you out there. So I've had a shower. I've had, had, a, had a bit of a feed. And I'm and I'm ready. I had a Red Bull, um, which you're not meant to have on the ADHD pills because they make you a bit bloody... Jumpy. A little bit jumpy. So That's I'm a little right. bit jumpy. And this school bus, this bike, 19... 
80s style school bus has turned up and I'm the only one on there. So I've Great. got on. I thought this is a bit of an overkill just to pick me up. It's about a 45, maybe 60 seater. So I'm just Did you go sit at the back? Yep. <laughs> bus driver said, Do you want to have a chat? I said, Fuck that, mate. Fuck I'm, off, uh, I'm up the back. Yeah. I'm up the back. <laughs> anyway, so I'm having a chat with him. He's a great bloke. We're just talking. And then we get down the road to the to the supermarket and another bloke's got on. Great. And he's and he said, This is the second quick stop. Quick thing on Tassie. As soon as you get to Tassie, yep. isn't everyone just seems like a little bit country. Oh, it's great, everyone. isn't it? Oh, it's great. So relaxed. I love it. Great people. Should not a white care in the world. They're not worried about their Snapchat and their TikTok and their Instagram. Nah. They're just like, g'day, mate. Soul to the earth. Good to see you. Yep. I banged my cousin last week. Yep. I like you. Um, yeah, and I, I own it. And um, every it's handshake. hanging off you. Have I? Yeah. No, it's only a little. Um, oh. Yeah, every uh, handshake is like, it means something. Oh, it's none of this clammy oh, hands. It also nearly... Uh, Nearly breaks your hand. Breaks your hand. At the gig, there were five uh, five young blokes. Only would have been about eighteen, and they're they, all they came up and they said farms. they're all farm boys. Had hands like fucking baseball mitts. These kids would have been eighteen max. Anyway, they said, "Mate, love the show." This after the show, shaking their hands. Yeah, and oh, it's like, oh fuck, oh oh oh. We're gonna do something about and this. And then, Tom. um, and then there was a girl there. She would have been sixteen. Now the puffy jacket, and I've gone. Finally, I've gone into her. <laughs> she's, she's nearly crushed me fucking hand. It's like, <laughs> Jesus, just the strength of these that people. Great. They're anyway, soul to the earth. So I'm on the bus, and, and I'm gonna. All right. So, so there were three stops. There was me, the supermarket. And then at a pub down the road. Great. So we're two stops in. We've only got two people on the bus. So we picked up yeah. this bloke. He's, he was heading out there for the uh, – it wasn't just a comedy night. They're having, uh, they were announcing the team of the decade. And he thought he was a chance. Well, uh, he hadn't played there for four years. But as and I, didn't get the invite? But no, just he, jumped he was on invited. The bus. He was invited. As it turned out, there was reason he got invited. He was a very, very good footballer. So, uh, so anyway, so I'm having a chat with him. We're having fun. Bus drivers, uh, we're talking about footy and the state of Tassie footy. Very interesting. Get down to the pub, and there's no one out the front. And um, I thought, oh fuck, this, I don't know, this gig be, uh, could be struggling a bit actually. If, we, if we've done the city run, the Launceston mm. run, and we're only taking back two mm. people. Suburban football is not a big uh, drawdown in Tassie. He's not pulling Tassie. the crowd. He, uh, he thought he, <laughs> he thought he might. And um, anyway, a bit so ahead the, of himself. So the the bus driver's gone, fucking hopeless bastards, and he's gone in the pub, and he's disappeared for about twenty minutes. He's had a few pots, and um, I'm going, where where is this guy? And anyway, eventually he's come out, shaking his head, going, fucking hopeless, and he's got on the bus. There's no one there. He's going, they're fucking hopeless, and I uh, eventually they've just started coming out, 10, 20, 20. 25. And you're thinking, thirty five. I'm going, suburban oh, boy. football suburban can footballer. draw yep. a crowd. So this is sort of maybe a few twos blokes, some ones blokes that from Launceston, a few of the guys that are that are potentially in this team of the decade, some of their mates. Great. So, and these guys have been at the pub all day. They are fucking slaughtered. Oh, they are yeah. they are wrestling and bloody talking. Yeah. You know, they, they just walk in. I'm sober as a judge. I'm, I'm, I look like a stripper. I've got my fucking suitcase. Yeah, and your, it's, and uh, your, your fluorescent undies. And, and my shit handshake. And, your, and, and um, your sequin dress. It's uh, and no good. Handshake. It's no good. And um, so they've all got on. I'm sort of keeping my head down so that no one goes, oh, it's a moment. Well, tell yeah. us a joke. Tell oh, us a joke. You don't need ready. it. You, do you not don't need, need it. it. So they're all getting on, and then um, and I'll preface this by saying because I, I, I feel bad about bringing this up, but I'll preface this by saying that uh, the coat, the way the club and the way Bobby, the president, handled this was second to none. So this yep. story is almost more about the way he he handled this situation. Positive out of out of, out of a, a negative. negative. Positive out of a negative. Got any cobber? So so I'm starting to think, Jesus. Like it, it's it's six thirty. This show's starting at eight thirty. Yeah, these guys are pole polaxed, and there's probably about forty five of them. Um, there's two women, and I'm yep. thinking, is this is this sort of the set in the scene? Is it demographic? If this is this could could get a bit rough, and they oh they're just yelling. At, it's yeah, you know how noisy a bus is. Like oh, oh it's yeah. so noisy. I think as you get older as well, your ears are a lot more sensitive. You mm. need, you almost need it. some some like you can't hear shit, but yeah, ears are more the, sensitive. What uh, was the sporting globe, or as I found out, they call it the snorting globe. Oh, remember last week yeah, I was yeah, talking I about the that. old sporting globe? Yeah, old 
word on the street and quite uh yeah it's all around the streets quite that, clever that uh, the old snorting, uh, snorting globe very that's, good um that's why they rip the doors off so yeah so loud in there you just feel like ah oh, i just want to listen but their yeah, bus is no good as well no good so uh anyway so it's a 30 minute trip and this as i later found out this is one of the few tan the few footy clubs left in tasmania that is a footy club without a town so there's no yes. town. There's no shop, no houses, no, no pub. There's one street lot. I don't know why they put the fucking street lot there because there's just a street lot. And so, uh, yeah, well, it's just know. a footy footy ground and that's it. That's all this town is. So so where are we going up So there, no nothing, just a street light and the ground. There's no nothing. Jesus. Because I know like uh, Blighty up in, you might have done that gig for the Twins. That's up still in, got a bit of shit there, hasn't it? That's got like a pub. Oh, yeah. This and is I think no. just a pub. So this is. Nothing. No, this is nothing. There's there's Ooh. nothing. Okay. There's nothing. So um yeah. and surprisingly successful club. So what if they win the premiership, which fucking street do they drive down with their ticker tape parade? Well they just go and I think just climb that light pole, I think. That's all they do <laughs> and uh, hang a scarf off the top of the light pole and call it a day. <laughs> yeah. But uh, obviously a bit of a farming community. So we're on the bus, I'm keeping my head down, I'm still chatting to the original bloke and the bus driver. No one's really sussed on that I'm who I am, that I'm the entertainment for the night. Only, or A, I'm not recognisable, and B, everyone's Polax, and it's pretty dark in there. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you just start, started sensing something. There's a vibe. There's a vibe in there. You know, you, you just got this vibe, and the, and you, hear, you heard one of the girls say, don't worry about it, and a, uh, a few of the boys are going, mate, geez. not here, not here, uh, not here. Someone then, slept uh, with someone. I don't, I don't know. I don't know the backstory. I'm making it two up. Two blokes. Have just started having a bit of a verbal, yeah, from about three meters away, and um, and then standing up or st- uh, one was sitting down, back. one was standing up, and then um, and we're still about ten minutes away from this oh, venue, good. so one of them stood up and said, "All right, mate, it's, it's all right, all right, you know his mates are stopping him, and yeah. he's going, hey, mate, it's all right, I just want to, I just want to talk to him, I just want to talk to him, and the other guy, mate, I just want to talk to him, you're and not good enough, up. you're not in the team, they've walked Didn't up, make it. and they're uh, and they're chatting, but. Heads, heads about three centimeters. Four heads about three centimeters apart, Ooh, which that's, is never great. It's an intense chat, and there's um, and there's a couple of girls there, right there, and then everyone's sort of up, up, sort of up close, and we're we're nine minutes, seven minutes from the what's going from through the, your from the venue. Head I'm here. thinking, oh, this is no good. This isn't the. This isn't the vibe I want before a gig. Suburban football. And I was thinking, there's enough Doesn't... people here to break it up, to talk them out of it. They're not going to do anything silly. But it's very tense in the bus. I'm sort of looking over my shoulder. Uh, we get about five minutes away, four minutes away. Look, it looks like we've we've what? avoided trouble. The uh, common sense has prevailed. All of a sudden, fucking bang, and what? it is on. Right. And two blokes. I'm not sure whether you've ever seen two blokes go toe to toe on a full bus before, but it. On a windy country road, going Ooh, up a hill, be... mate. They were falling. They were fucking hitting poles. They were getting arms caught in those leather hanging things. It was fucking chaos. So everyone's jumping in, and these two are just fucking at it. And then, um, and anyway, so they fought for about the remaining three or four minutes. Yep. We've pulled up. I couldn't get off the bus fucking quick enough. And um, so I, I've got me ridiculous stripper bloody stripper suitcase. Uh, suitcase. I've started dragging the thing through the uh, th- through the yeah. n- no no concrete in this car park. It's just <laughs> bum, 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 all these gravel potholes trying to get out of there. And then these two have got off the bus, and everyone's obviously just said, "All right, good country style. Let's just let these two duke it just, out in the car park." Yeah. And um, pre pre show six thirty, these two are at it. And uh, well, I walked in the front door of the club. There's about another fifty people at the club. So right. all this is going to be a big thinking, gig. This is going to be a big. It's going to be good unless. They all start punching Unless on with each other. They all start punching other. on, yeah, and, and then, the, uh, the riot police, Lawn System riot police, come out. But uh, anyway, so presidents met me at the door. Tommy, how you going? I said, yeah, good. How was the bus trip? And I said, maybe mate. pop your head out in the car park and see how the bus trip was. Have a look. He's looked, and mate, to his credit, this is where presidents aren't paid a cent. But this is where presidents earn their earn their, money. They're not getting. They're paid. not getting. So and he just he, mate, he was furious, and he I think he sent one of them straight home. And yeah, um, go to your room. And uh, one Loser. of the other guys was allowed to stay. That they weren't players at the club. He could not have stressed that enough. He goes, and mate, it was unbelievable. He he pissed these two off. 
he, you guys are fucking out of here. And he came straight back, apologised to me, and he said, mate, I want to get up on stage before your show and apologise to anyone that saw this. This club has a no dickhead policy. We're yeah. proud of that, and this is this is unacceptable. And I was like, mate, Bobby, you are, mate. A lot, cause a well, lot I don't know when you're getting paid, but it's not, clearly it's not enough. It's not enough, Because it's zero. Because I know it's probably zero. So, yep. mate, hats off to Bobby. And, and that's why the club just had such a good culture. Except for uh, the parrots. And that's why. Except for their parrots. But, um, and that's why. Because shit will happen at footy club. Shit will happen. Always does. You get enough grog, enough boys. Things are going to happen, but it's how you react. And you old Bobby, I tell you what, took mate. Took the bull by the horns. And of all the, the parrot, he took the parrot by, by the, the beak. beak. He took the parrot by its shitty little gay beak and shook and it said, until its pink little shoe. feathers fell off. <laughs> and these two are not welcome back at the club. And it That's was good. Some, it was something else. But seeing, it's been a while since I've just seen a good old bloody scrap. And it it's was um, on a bus. I don't, I don't it's great. I can't remember the last time I saw one on a bus. Maybe a was it was it one of those about. scraps where you know how sometimes you see a scrap and you're like, "Fuck, this is pretty intense. Someone's going to get hurt here," or they were too pissed to do any. No, proper they damage. were they were reasonably big boys, and again, country boys, hands mm. like bloody baseball mitts, uh, and it was uh, mate, it was it was on. But it was a it was a great night, and well done to Bobby for the way he handled it. Well done to the club. It was an awesome night. Team of the decade announced. It was uh, just really, uh, just a really good night. And yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for having us. Caught the bus home. That was a lot more, a lot, lot less eventful. A few of the boys that uh, a few of the boys had on the bus. definitely peaked. There was a few blokes nodding off on the bus. It was a pretty quiet trip. Wow, back. that's that's a good one. You can tell it's a nice, clean club. You know, because some other clubs, you know, yep. if people are still buzzing. They're, they're just getting started. They're just getting started, but not over in um, Bridge North no. Port. And I town. must I must apologise to one bloke in particular, mate. He was. Oh, I tell you one thing that happened right at the end. Talk to me. So I'm on the bus. There's one bloke. He goes, "Mate, you're coming out with me. We're going to the." We're, we're going to the, the Irish, the Irish pub. Ah, like, there's oh, always an Irish mate. pub. It's, it's about 12.30 already. There's, there's no, uh, you know, this place, no no neighbours complain. They go on all at this joint. So, um, oh, so where's that? No, oh, no, this is the footy club. Yeah, the Irish. You're going no, to the, the Irish. Um, there's no one. There's no one complaining at the footy club. Oh, no. Yes. So I mean, we're going to stay there all night. So, um, but anyway, so but everyone's off to the Irish. Everyone, oh, my ass is asleep. Oh, yeah. stretch and click. Better wake it up, mate. Yeah, I don't know if they're stills. They're, oh, they're not great. They are they're very not great. uncomfortable. Yeah, they're definitely keeping yeah, us awake. The old casting couch isn't looking too bad. Yeah, I want to um, go for a snooze. But um, anyway, so, so, so and he's going, mate, come to the Irish. Irish. He goes, my missus is driving. You can come. I've, I've saved you a seat. He was, and he was a ripping bloke. Great Lovely bloke. bloke. Loved you. And I said, mate, I'd love to, but I've got to drop this suitcase off. I'll go to the hotel. Yeah. And he's showing me on the map. I've got to do a shift to the local the strippers. Yeah. It's got all my bikinis <laughs> in there. It's got a few G-bangers. I, got to, I can't be taking that to the pub. Okay. So, so I said, mate, I'll go back to the hotel. And he's going, I bet you don't. I said, mate, I, I promise you I'll do it. I'm going to do it. And he's going, you promise? And I said, mate, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do You're it. You're going to break and, his heart. And, and then, so I've gone on the bus and I'm sitting on the bus. The bus has taken off and I've thought, I forgot. I forgot me fucking, my tin on the bar. Oh, I forgot my tin on the bar. Your tin on the bar. My tin that I put on the bar to raise money for the children's, children's hospital. hospital. And I've got to go back in. So I said, to the bus driver, wait, 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 wait. I've got to go back in. And I'd fucking. And this is the last thing I needed was to see this bloke. And I've oh. run back in. And he's gone, you changed your mind. And I said, Did, no, no, I've got to get the I tin haven't. on the bar. And his shoulders slumped. And I was oh. like, oh, you poor bastard. So I've grabbed the tin. There's still about 30 piss blokes. At the bar, and they said, You're back. And I said, Mate, I'm just grabbing the tin. Grabbing the tin, I forgot the tin. And just being funny, I've grabbed the tin, given it a shake, and the fucking ass fell out of the tin, <laughs> and fucking coins went fucking everywhere. Oh, fucking thousands of them. Oh, uh, 50 fuck. buck notes, fucking. Oh. I'm going to bet. Five fifty buck notes, fucking twenties, oh. hundreds, hundreds of coins have hit the Gone. fucking concrete floor. And concrete. Just, uh, oh. it, was the, yeah, it, was, it was the concrete, concrete. floor around the bar. Yeah, and it was just and everyone's everyone's just 
Like fucking emus. Dive. Everyone down on their knees. It was like a... Emus? I don't know. They on their knees? I don't know. I don't, I don't think they have knees. No. Oh, they have reverse They're like maybe just parrots. But that, like emus, sure. they were getting down. Oh, picking, yeah. Sit up pecking, the ground. Pecking. pecking. And I'm yelling out, yeah, you're fucking stealing from sick kids, you bastards. You're, you're stealing from sick kids. <laughs> so I'm there trying to grab the 50s, thinking I'm not going to get it all. You know, you can't. But to everyone's credit, everyone put the money back in the tin. That's great. The last tin... Oh, well, my last tin, five tins, haven't had a bottom on it, but lesson learned. This one's got a removable yeah, bottom. you've got a bloody I to, tape it I up. I used to get the, uh, the can opener. I'd have to open it at the end of the year. Can this opener. one's, um, it just pops open. So, oh, so with the old ones, did you used to just put, you used to carry around a tin full of money for the whole year? Yeah, yeah. So by the end. <laughs> That's, lucky you didn't take that one down to Tassie. Oh, you've got excess baggage. Yeah. What's going on? Oh. You fucking tins oh, 100%. too heavy. And lucky it was uh, only Good Friday recently, but there was still a lot of because because uh, hats off to people that um, Morwell they put a shitload in, mm. they put a shitload in. So there was plenty of cash, but everyone, I don't know, a few people might have knocked something off, but I don't think they did. But it looked like all the money went back in. I taped it up, back on the bus, and to the guy that I'd said I'd meet at the Irish, I hope he's not still waiting for me because he's not coming. Mate, I'll be honest, honest. I had no intention of going to the Irish. Sometimes you you do, then you get on the bus, you go, I'm on the way home, and then once you get there, and you know you've got to fly out the next day, yep. you just go back to your hotel room, you just, I'm done. Yeah, because I thought Just I actually might have had a few beers, and I was thinking I might go out with the boys afterwards. I, I don't have an early start, but by the time the you- bus trip. I just, I've got a couple of beers, but- you're just so busy on the night. Oh, I thought you don't have a chance. And um, and we actually drove past the Irish. And once I got one look at the joint, I was yeah, like, no. fuck me. I'm, I'm not going, not going in there. Those two blokes are still belting on yeah. in there. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> so they're going. fighting they're out the front. They're fighting out the front. They're, uh, they're covered We're in not blood. doing that. No one's breaking that up. So uh, anyway, no, big no thank you. And well done to Bobby and all the crew down there for organising. Great work. Uh, sensational night. There were some real characters, some good, uh, real good Love crew. It. And, uh, yeah, just some good times. Yeah. I'm getting into Tassie later in the year. So, it's a good uh, job. They really Jokers, appreciate I it. Love I don't it. think I they get a lot down there. Yeah. So I'm going to Jokers and then doing a gig at the casino on the Friday casino, night. Casino. Casino. Get that going. Rest Point. Rest Point down in Hobart. Yeah. Actually, Cindy, one of our loyal listeners, I caught up with her last time I was down in Jokers. She's, yep. uh, she's going to rock up to the gig. So at least there'll be one person there. Oh, that'll be good. So that'll be good. To go with their one, um, their one pokey machine there, casino's yeah. got. It's, uh, she's a pretty half ass casino, I've got to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. seen more pokies at the bloody, the Bentley. Um, RSL. Bentley RSL. Golf club. Golf club. But Bowling anyway. Club. That's good. Good times. That's good. So right. uh, have you got uh, much? Because we're, uh, mate, mate, we are nearly we are there. We are getting hour. there. All right. So yeah, maybe. Oh, have we got some fuck checking or you got uh, anything we, we talk about? We do have some fuck checking. I'll go get my uh, phone and then maybe you should, I, should I talk oh. about. Oh, no, you go. You go well, uh, my, maybe, I think my acting. That's going to be a long one. Yeah. That's going to be a long one. That's going to be think, a long one. Save that for next week. I think. i got a little short nugget of gold if well, we want to finish, unless we want yeah. to go to uh, some fuck check. We'll go to all fucked. Yep. We'll go to all fucked. Big de- and uh, thank you again. We've just got the, uh, we've had another delivery here, Tommy boy. We've, uh, from Nighty and all the crew at uh, yep. Vuco. Yeah, yeah. Great socks. I've been wagga, 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 Absolutely. Wagga, 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 wagga. Absolutely no idea Mate. what they do as a business, but I've got to tell you, they've made some nice fucking promo we socks. We've been pumping up these socks, and Big D is still wearing his socks. Extra large. He That's has not taken them off, but there's a few. There's medium, large, there's XL, so we're going to go to town on those babies. Yep, uh, they're good so, socks. So uh, thanks to Nighty and all the crew at Vuco up there in Oh, go, go, so go, if go. anyone else wants to sponsor the show, talk about value for money. That's, Give a shit. These guys are giving us eight pairs of two buck socks, and we've been talking about them for fucking sixty episodes. Bloody oath, mate. Yeah. So value uh, for money. Oh shit, yeah, shit, yeah. So th- there was only one fucked this week, and she was a pretty simple one. This was a pretty simple that one. That was so. uh, what was Thingo's name in Pretty Woman? Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts' name in Julia Roberts. So no cut and paste here, baby. I reckon uh, Big D's a Pretty Woman fan from way back. He knew that one off the top of his head. He knew it, mate. He's got it tattooed on his thigh and, yep. uh, you know, tattooed on his back. He loves it. So what do you reckon Julia Roberts' name was in Pretty Woman? I mean, obviously you don't know, but can you um, have some kind of crack at it? Candy. Candy? No, no. Yeah. That's your stripper name. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, no, Pretty Woman Vivian. That's a, yeah, not a very... It's think, not a real, like, even though she looked pretty hot, you'd be like, is it Vivian? Maybe not, it was an what, 80s name. When I think of Vivian, I think of that guy uh, from The Young Ones. Ooh. Was Vivian... 
Vivian was the punk rocker from the the young ones, wasn't oh, he? I think. Was that before your time? I think I was a bit too young for the young ones. The young yeah. ones, classic show. Classic show. I have heard good reports about it, but uh, yeah, Vivian. Oh, I wouldn't Vivian. have picked that. Oh, was that, he the old guy? Was he the guy with the long hair? Vivian Vivian Richards. Would you turn home? No. Oh, he was That's a Viv Richards. That's yeah, Vivian yeah, Richards. Yeah. You love your cricket. But oh, he said that was cricket. an easy one. LOL. So, yeah. Big D. Thanks ah, for Thanks, the Big fuck. D. Vivian yep. was. Uh, so, that's. Um, that was a good one. But that's yeah, good. Yeah, no, we're. That's uh, good. So, so yeah. yeah so, well, I've uh, been getting plenty of. Um, Plenty of banner with the boys from Baronia. They are really, uh, really letting me have it. Um, that's, that's good because because uh, one of the you know the big um, big source head. Yes. So uh, he, he, I've said I will, I will eat literally eat a hat if he wins the um, league goal kicking, and he kicked another bag of seven on the weekend. Jesus, he's, uh, I don't know he's where he's sitting, but he's up there. What's his fucking name again? Um, here he is. Uh, Rob, the... Rob Weasley. Rob, is that him? He oh, keeps he's bloody screenshots. Yeah, screenshots. Well, he's uh, cutting and pasting those. Yeah, it's good to be proud of your performance, but it's coming across Come as a bit wankerish. But, um, but anyway, uh, Weasley. So he's, he's, le- he's got a good little lead on the goal kicking out there at Baronia. Okay. Which hat would you eat, you reckon? Um, would you have a crack at that parrot's beanie? No, nah, not this. would be a mouthful. That would um, be tough, I reckon. Maybe just a little, uh, one of those little Jewish hats. Maybe the little, little um, what, what are they, are they called? called? I Yummikas? Yummikas? Yummikas, maybe they're... Well, that, maybe they're, they're Yummika. They're not Yummika. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just silly. Well, that's, um, that's crazy so, uh, talk. Crazy talk. Would you, a Legionnaire's had to be tough. There's a lot of material in that. Legionnaire's? What's a Legionnaire's? Ah, that's the one with the thing at the back to stop you getting sunburnt on the back of your neck. It should be called a skin cancer hat. It should be called an anti-skin cancer hat. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah, that's... But, um, <laughs> but a Legionnaire's, like, what's a Legionnaire's disease? Oh, yeah... Well, I don't Is it think the same it. word? Legionnaire's yeah, hat, Legionnaire's be. disease. Uh, big D, big D. Are that's they like called calling, Legionnaire's hat? Legionnaire's is a, that's like calling something like a herpy hat. Herpy or hat. Or a syphilis hat. Oh, yeah, they'll catch on. Um, yeah. All right. So, all right. So we didn't really solve much there. We no. should have just gone straight to your story. No, no, that was all right. So this is one quick one that involves the two of us. Uh, be a nice little, uh, let's tie this episode up with a Ooh. bow and... Ooh, send Let's it to your mother. This, uh, land this bad boy. So, some people may remember during, I think when I had COVID a few weeks ago, yep. we thought we still wanted to keep the episode going. So, we, we oh, recorded a Zoom yeah. episode. Yes, we did. Uh, and it was so shit. Well, we did. We tried to start recording. We got five minutes in. We, got this we were shit. not into it. Nothing was happening. But we were, it was clunky. There was no was chemistry. Cl- Not that we have great chemistry at the best of times. Nah. We were cutting it. it was just, it was just shit. But one thing we did get out of it is we're looking at each other on the screen because I had COVID, couldn't be in the same room. But in the end, we said fuck it anyway, and we caught up and came over. Yeah, pretty sure I gave you COVID. Yeah, thanks, and, mate. And um, but we did have a bit of fun on the screen. We started playing with these little um character chew like. We're giving ourselves. You had lipstick, lipstick, you a had big glasses, beautiful eyelashes, um, glasses. And, I had a, uh, I, I made my penis bigger. It was, it was, it was really um, good stuff. I just, was, in, I was in the Bahamas for a bit, and then I went. Yeah, I was, I was in some yeah, crazy places. Yeah, yeah. So we, we'd play with the backgrounds, it was and beautiful. Um, and, and I used to sometimes see, so you see kids doing that, and I'm like. Gee, that look, dog, how could that be fun? But all yeah. of a sudden, put yourself in the driver's yeah. seat, seeing mate, your mate with a bit uh, with kid with whiskers. A, and... Oh, fucking funny stuff. Oh, big bu- good big stuff, rabbit mate. buck teeth. Oh, mate, it was like funny yeah. stuff. Rabbit buck teeth were an upgrade for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyway, so, uh, so we had, we had about half an hour fun with that good. good laugh, and then we decided clearly we can't do podcasts on the Zoom. So, you came around. Recorded it in the front yard. End of story. Or so we, we thought. Think. So a couple of days ago, uh, companies contacted me and said, uh, through my Facebook page and said, look, we'd like to uh, book you for, for a gig. We we have this big uh, two week, uh, one week, uh, like a seminar thing, and we're going to finish it with a big gala dinner. Bang. We haven't. We haven't had one for three years because of COVID. So we're going to have, we're going all out. We've got money in the bank. We're having money. We're going to have it at Crown Casino. It's, uh, when McGrath's coming. He's coming. He's shooting a rhino. It's going to be, it's, uh, it's going to be huge. Can we do a Zoom meeting with you to organize, can, to organize the function? And I said, <laughs> no dramas. And I, I don't use Zoom a lot. I hadn't used Zoom since 
since uh, I caught up with you. Yep. So anyway, I'm bloody that they've sent me through the invite. <laughs> I've entered. Do you want to accept? Put on sound. Uh, they've got two at their end. They've got the um, the CEO of the company and one of the young guys that look, looking after the social committee. Great. Boop, boop, boop. All our faces have popped up and I Boop. am wearing lipstick and, <laughs> and, and have a fucking massive fucking chin. <laughs> Jeez, Tom, oh, you look a bit different than how you look on your uh, Facebook. So I'm there thinking, this is corporate. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to watch myself. Oh, I'm glad it, you dressed up. Fuck me. It was so <laughs> funny. Talk about, if you ever want an icebreaker, if you've got a serious <laughs> meeting, like an online bloody job interview or something, and, and my, I don't know what I'm doing on the computers, the CEO's going, Mate, bottom left hand corner, click on it. I'm going, what am I, what am I looking for? And he goes, well, I'm guessing lipstick. Is there, is there lipstick anywhere? <laughs> and, and, um, and I'm looking for lipstick and I'll go, boop, and the lipstick's gone. He goes, and fuck the way he said it. He goes, mate, I said, yep. And he goes, is that, is that your real chin? And I said, no, I don't, it's not my real chin. I don't know how to get rid of this chin. So uh, it seriously took us nearly 10 minutes. And, and in the end, I said, mate, Let's just I think, do it. I think we can just, I'm going to have to deal with the chin. And yeah. we got a couple of minutes in, he goes, mate, we're going to have to get rid of that, t- that chin. I can't fucking look at it. And, and he was <laughs> laughing and the young bloke was just in stitches. He said, mate, if there's any way we can get you to MC this function wearing lippy and have a massive chin, I'll tell you what, we're going to do it because this is fucking comedy gold. This is great. <laughs> so, oh, it was so funny. It was really awkward for about two minutes until we both I realised that. But, bloody... but then you think, oh, man, is this going to affect my chances of getting the gig of, of this and that? But uh, oh, certainly, luckily, God. they were just Funny blokes, no. Oh, you got to see the was, funny side. Yeah, of that. yeah. But if that if that had been a straight and the straight as a die, you know, oh, the person God, from um, what's going on there, oh, my bum, uh, the asleep. person from HR or something, they might have gone, uh, Jesus, you're going, oh, this is, well, this maybe, maybe for us. the lipstick and all that, you know, that's very progressive these days. It could be progressive, really yeah, trends. Yeah. So, uh, so that was funny shit. And uh, mate, that's all. I've, that's uh, that's all we got time for. Where are we no, going here? Look at the time. It's like forty four. Jesus we've got work Christ! Tomorrow. Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Bloody hell! You but, working tomorrow? Uh, I am working tomorrow, mate. Oh. Five o'clock alarm. So Jesus. That, that's good. Good times. Uh, but, we're a minute uh, five in. A so minute there you go, five, boys up there on the uh, minute five. Boy, what? An hour five. An hour, an hour, an hour five, five in. So, Jeez, that yeah, was a minute so five. there we go. But uh, hey, thanks for listening to uh, another episode of Good Banter. Get. Mate, YouTube is ticking. It is cranking. It is cranking. 117 subscribers. We're getting heaps of views. Yep. Get on. Uh, tell your mates about this and tag us in stuff. We're getting a heap of great stuff on the Instagram, on the Twitter. There's a bit of banter back and forth. Yep. Uh, did I have stuff I had to say? I don't know. Oh, I've forgotten about it. If you want to get involved, yeah, write us a letter. We'll just, get involved. Just discussion points. We want to send we want discussion stuff in. points. It could be send us. Could be anything. We've got heaps of socks. Let's see what else we can get. We need. Um, what do oh, you yeah, need? Oh yeah, send us Tommy? shit for crying out loud. Mate, we we will pr- we'll promote anything. Maybe some like, jocks. I like good jocks. Sure. Jocks. Jocks would be good. I got some new ones for my birthday, but I wouldn't mind some that really hug the ball back. Yeah, got a, That's what I want. Hey, a little, uh, might have a little uh, beer company might be coming on board to sponsor us. And if you're thinking one of the big ones, yeah, CUB or yeah, 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 think yeah, again, yeah think I've again, because I've never fucking heard of these guys. Yeah, but, wow, um, we're going to make them. We're going to make them. But uh, yep. yeah, I reckon next week, uh, yeah, I'll talk about how I've, I think I've lost my acting agent. Yep. And uh, also, I did something a bit weird on the weekend. I, I went to a winery with some mates. So okay, that ended stay up, tuned. Stay tuned. But uh, hey, tell That's your it. friends about it. Do that thing again where you share it with your mate. Go, yeah, this is cool. Listen to this. If, yep. if, if, if you don't like someone and you're not liking this, send it to them and go, listen to this and you want to kill yourself or whatever. You won't. Maybe you will. I don't know. Who don't knows? do that. Don't do that. But hey, spread thanks for listening. Word. Spread the word. Get to my gig in Port Douglas on the 3rd of June, Friday 3rd of June. Let's sell it out. Let's do that. And uh, we will stay updated with everything. With some good... Good... That's it. Good banter. That's a good banter.